Now it's time to work on the tail. Here's the horizontal stabilizer I've made. It's 15 and a half inches span. It is six inches cord with a one and a half inch control surface. I've swept it for looks and a little structural integrity and used the wraparound technique for the leading edge, the kissing tape technique for the trailing edge, and I've sealed the edges with some CA glue put on there. This is a plane where taking a little extra time to make your control surfaces streamlined will get you a little better performance. Because of the length of the tail moment arm, that is the part of the fuselage which is behind the center of gravity, is about 30 inches in this case, you can go a little smaller on your horizontal stabilizer and vertical stabilizer surfaces. This is about 20% of the total wing surface area. Most planes with shorter tails, you would want to make this about 30-35%, but because it's got a longer lever to exert its effect on, it can be on the smaller side. The vertical stabilizer I've made here is 7 inches tall. The effective root cord is 6 inches and the tip cord is three inches. In the rear, I would recommend removing a wedge of the fuselage tube, partly for aesthetics, partly for weight savings, and it also allows you to access the inside of the fuselage to place your elevator servo out of the profile of the airplane so it's more streamlined, as well the push rod and the control horn are out of the slipstream and therefore avoid excessive drag. And you could even place a piece of flat foam board over the top of this to cover it up further. The rudder servo I placed inside the fuselage as well with just a tiny bit of the servo arm protruding from the top of the fuselage and then a straight push rod back to the control horn of the rudder. One nice method for mounting your tail on the fuselage is to use a plastic gift card folded in half in a right angle and then cut a slit in the top of the uh, fuselage through the bottom actually all the way through so that this can be inserted up through the bottom. This part will remain on the underside of the fuselage where you can install at least your elevator servo and sometimes your rudder servo. So this will stick up. It should protrude through the horizontal stabilizer roughly in the midline, offset just a little bit for the thickness of the vertical stabilizer and the vertical stabilizer will be installed up against that tab which is created by the gift card. Two-sided foam tape works well. CA or hot glue is another alternative. Here I've marked the horizontal stabilizer right in the midline, dead center between the two tips, and that is exactly where we want the vertical stabilizer to rest. So as you can see, the gift card tab is going to exit the horizontal stabilizer vertically, not right in the center, but offset the thickness of the foam board here and even a little tiny bit more to allow some thickness of the two-sided foam tape if you want to be very, very precise. And so I would recommend placing the tab against the vertical stabilizer somewhere between the front and the rear. This is uh, good to allow a little extra space so you can overlap this with tape if you like. And then note where that comes to rest. Place the vertical stabilizer, note where the slot needs to be created, and go ahead and cut it through. So here I've installed that folded gift card here using two-sided foam tape, or you could use glue, up through the bottom of the fuselage, protruding through the top, and then I've got two more strips of two-sided foam tape here and here, and I'll peel that off. And then the slot created in the horizontal stabilizer is right here, just off-center. And so you just place that horizontal stabilizer over the gift card, Make sure it's lined up. Press it right down onto the two-sided foam tape. Optionally, you can apply a fillet of hot glue here, but honestly, this two-sided foam tape by Scotch 3M is incredibly strong. I've never had a giveaway on a tail, and I perfectly trust it alone. Now this tab is created, sticking through the center, and the vertical stabilizer can be affixed to it straight up. I use two-sided foam tape here, and I do use a little fillet of hot glue at the junction uh, because this is subjected to some lateral forces that are somewhat stronger than the forces applied to the horizontal stabilizer. But then after that is done, you will be ready to put on the servos and control horns. Be sure before you're doing your final emplacement of your horizontal stabilizer that the hinge for the elevator is clear of the 
uh, rear of the fuselage so that it may articulate. You won't be doing much down elevator on this plane, but it's just a good policy to make sure that that clears. And in actuality, almost all of the elevator excursion will be up going anyway. So here's the vertical stabilizer installed with just the Scotch 3M two-sided foam tape to the uh, gift card here. It's uh, fairly strong, but again, it's it could use a little reinforcement. So I'm going to put a hot glue bead uh, right up underneath there by bending this over. Put the hot glue underneath and fold it back. Hold it and make sure that it's vertical while that hardens. And then you'll be good to do the control horns. So this gives a very nice streamlined flow of the air around the empennage. You might even consider putting a fillet of glue or tape over the front surface of the horizontal stabilizer where it joins the fuselage to reduce the drag even a little bit more.